Hi all, it's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. Now this will be a 2022 um, predictive reading. Um, I'll be picking a card for each of the months of the year. Um, and then we'll clarify with some other cards as well. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay. Pisces, January. Okay, this is February. This is March. Okay, this is April. Come on, do one out. July. August. November and December. Give me one second. Sorry about that. They went flying everywhere. Okay, December. I see it's December. Okay. On the bottom, you've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. You're feeling like you're stuck. You're feeling like you, it's all in your head though. You know, like you have self-limiting beliefs. You're your worst inner critic. You need to release those negative thoughts and be open to new perspectives. I feel like, you know, you feel like you can't get out, but you can. Like the gate, if you look at the picture up, right, the gate's open. She's not handcuffed. She's not, you know tied up nothing she can get out of there if she chooses so on the table for january you have the empress card now the empress the oh my goodness the empress card this is all about you nurturing you it's also about um just possibly being a mum um, it's about pregnancy so be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant um, but yeah it's all about giving birth to your dreams and now is the time to take action 
It's about abundance, prosperity. Tell me more for January. Yeah, because I feel like you're moving on. You're moving, or you're not wanting to move on, sorry. You're not wanting to move on from a situation, but you do need to nurture you and look after you. Um, maybe it's the parent of your kids, like the other parent. Um, but yeah, there's something you don't want to move on from. And I feel like it's because, as I said, you're trapped in your head. You feel like you're stuck there. It's the exact same card as this one, but this one was in reverse. During this is all about your own, you know, in your own head, your own negative thoughts and your own, you know, you know, um, self-limiting beliefs. Whereas upright, it's all about you feeling like you are stuck and having those negative thoughts, the indecision, um, feeling like you've got limited options. Um, but there's someone that is like the devil energy that you need to detach from. So this could be somebody with addictions, drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, Maybe it's a toxic relationship, something like that. But you're feeling trapped. You need to get away from this, but you're not wanting to move on. Get another card as well. Okay, tell me more. The Pisces. I feel like you're in some sort of self-denial, really. Um, with the seven of swords in or self deceit, I mean to say, um, like you have options, you have a lot of options, but you're keeping yourself there, you're deceiving yourself. You know, this person is a narcissist, they're impulsive, they're ruthless. Okay. February. February is all about you not wanting to make a choice still. And I feel like this has been a pattern with you guys. Like you haven't wanted to, maybe because of your codependency, maybe because you feel stuck and you don't feel like you've got any other options, you keep staying there. So, and I feel like this is no different. Okay, so February. Tell me about February. The devil card. Once again, it's that negative thinking, it's the toxic relationship, the person with addictions, it's it's just like you feel like you're trapped, so you feel like you can't get away from this situation, even though you know it's not good for you. And you keep thinking and assessing your life and, and trying to, you know, future plan, but you've got two choices. Okay, tell me more. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The reality is you're bored and you're feeling like you're stuck, like I said. So you're at a standstill. You're not progressing. This person is a fraud. They came in like Prince Charming, but they're really not who they kind of appeared to be. And it's just made you feel really down. But at the same time, you're not walking away. They could be manipulating you. In March, you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is about you caring for yourself. You might have some unpaid debts. It could be about a one-sided relationship. Somebody's giving to other people. We'll find out more. Tell me more. Yeah, you really need to figure out what it is that you want. For your future, I mean. Like, yeah, you've got choices to definitely make. And I mean, you can be successful. If you do decide to make a change, take some action, be determined, you can make a change in your life. But you have to, you know, get out of that feeling like you're too, um, like you're trapped, feeling like you're stuck, feeling like you've got no other options. You've got to get out of that headspace. Um, look at this situation like a lost opportunity. I feel like 
you have no plan so that's you know maybe you need a plan to kind of get out of this situation but also i feel like this is causing you a whole heap of financial loss um yeah okay for april possibly looking to make some money maybe widen your knowledge maybe you're just widening your knowledge in regards to this situation learning or it could be you know going back to school doing some work that you love Coming off April Pisces. Yeah, I think you realize that you both have different values. Also, you do need to work on your self worth because, as I said, if you had self worth, or if I haven't said it, I meant to say it, if you haven't got any self worth, you're going to keep going around and around in this circle because you've got no, you know, self confidence and self love and self worth to realize you deserve better. Whereas if you have that, you would get out of this situation. Um, and as I said, it is making you feel down. You've got the sun card here too. So it is this whole situation is making you feel very down. Okay, so tell me more. As I said. This person's a fraud, a liar, you know, not what they appeared to be. Not like they, you thought they were going to be Prince Charming, but they turned out to be the complete opposite. Um, okay, um, May. May, you have the Nine of Wands. Now, this is all about you um, protecting which that which you've created, but it's also about persevering and putting up your boundaries. Um, let me just pick this one here up. This one came out, so I feel like this is important. You do need to be able to speak your truth as well. Um, but yeah, I just I just feel like you know, keep persevering, keep um, like getting out there, but put up your boundaries. You feel like the victim. You feel like this person left you out in the cold. Um, you feel like they could have, as I said, taken money from you or, you know, left you with nothing, um, rejected you. Feel like if you don't put an end to this the tower is going the universe is going to cause a tower moment where there's going to be some big um change or and it'll be unwanted change some upheaval chaos some sort of awakening you know so that this situation is released this person's manipulating but at the same time once again you still don't want to walk away june you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be you getting some money or um, a good create a career opportunity. Um, you might purchase things like a house or a car. Um, can also be a blossoming new love, but I feel like we'll see if it's about money. So the universe steps in and I feel like that's why you're now going to have a fresh start and I feel like you're possibly thinking back about the past but you're disappointed um you've got to just forgive and, and move on let it go
yeah now is the right time to this is all about you being in control of you and only you can choose how you respond you can't choose how another person acts or, or responds or anything you can only be in control of you so i feel like you know have the maturity and the wisdom to kind of know that now is the time to kind of walk away because it's not going to give you your wishes fulfilled but at the same time you keep on you know resisting this inevitable end June, uh, July is you either working too hard or there needs to be balance, could be health problems due to stress, you feel like you're the one, you know, putting in all the effort, feels like a burden, too many responsibilities, you're feeling oppressed, you're feeling like you're in pain, you're exhausted, you got so many obligations and you're also going through this heartache and, and loss as well. As I said, be careful of stress. You're needing to break the cycle, though. But you're resisting the change. You need to break the cycle. There's probably a third party involved as well. Okay. Yeah, you don't have a lot of hope. And also, I feel like... You're also not trusting your intuition. I feel like even though this is the Queen of Cups, I feel like um, it's more about, and, and it doesn't matter that it's a, a queen, it's the energy, and I feel like you're a very compassionate, empathetic kind of person, uh, nurturing, you know, kind. And I just feel like this person kind of, you know, breaks your heart, takes advantage. But maybe you don't have the same expectations, same values. Maybe this is something you need to learn, spiritual lesson for you, but you are going to move on. Okay, uh, August, you're unable to make a decision. You still, you know, here you are wanting to make a decision, needing to make a decision, but, you know, you're trying to avoid it at the same time. You're pretending there's no problem. Maybe you need to spend some time with friends. But I feel like, yeah, look, you're in mental conflict because you know this person's being deceptive. They're doing something wrong that they shouldn't be. And they know that they shouldn't be, but they're doing it anyway. Yeah, look, choices. Somebody's weighing up their options. It's going to take strength to get through this. You got the star card in September. And this is all about, you know, having faith and the, be the, the future can be bright. Dreams can come true. You know, it's about positive changes that bring the end to challenging times. And, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And, you know, it's like keep the faith. You can manifest whatever it is you want. Like, you know, things can get better. I feel like you just have to keep keep the faith. Tell me more for September for Pisces. Yeah, stop resisting the change. You really have to stop resisting the change. You've got to realise there is no victory in success and you need to take back your own power. Remember this person left you out in the cold and you're having to recover from the financial loss or the loss of this person, this relationship, you know, as I said, get out of your own head. 
stop with all the self-limiting beliefs and all those negative thoughts that you have about yourself. You have other options. October. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. This is you hesitant to open your heart. You're disappointed with what went on, but you do need to be alone. Do some introspection. Look, you're in mental conflict still. And this is like a whole year worth of being in mental conflict. And here's the universe again. With the tower. like how many times does the universe have to tell you that this is not for you this is not for your highest good this situation this person as i said you're resisting this inevitable end that's going to happen sooner or later but it's all a spiritual lesson for you there's still communication i feel like Okay, November, the end of challenging times. So this is possibly where you move on. It's the end of depression or an illness. Um, it's like moving to calmer waters as such. Okay, tell me more about that for November. For Pisces. Holy crap, half the cards just went flying. Hold on one second. Now I'm going to take the one that's just on the table. Yeah, spiritual lesson. Yeah, you're not wanting to let something go, but you realise you need to. To make a positive movement forward, you need to recognise and learn that you need to let it go, even though you don't want to. And I feel like you're going to have a fresh start. You're going to, you know, focus on your money, focus on your career possibly. Tell me more. Oh, one fell out. Yeah, you're moving on because you realise there is no ten of cups with this person. You know, this is like a broken relationship, arguments. You're seeing it as a waste of your time. You know, it's not going anywhere. Um, you've also got in December... Prince Charming, but it's also in reverse. This is also the same as this one up here. This is a fraud. This is somebody who is a liar. Somebody who appears to be like a Prince, Princess Charming, but they're not. So nurture you. Look after yourself. As I said, you may have kids with this person. Be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. Um, be careful of what you're manifesting as well, because... You may manifest more of them, more of people like this or more situations like this. Okay, a little more for December. This person could be younger than you, but I feel like you need to trust your intuition. I feel like it came out like this because this person's selfish as well. I feel like they don't really have any desires. You're probably doubting your intuition, but you need to... You need to not. Um, you need to really trust your intuition. And stop trying to resist this inevit inevitable end. I feel like this is a toxic, hostile situation. And it's going to take strength for you to move on from it. But you need to. And you need to focus on your self-worth. because, And, and re-establish who you are as a person. Get some self-confidence. All right. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, um, uh, don't forget to, yeah, share this. If if this if this does does resonate, 
Um, okay, and I will catch you with the next read. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.